Hey guys, I'm Maria. Welcome to my sweet digs. If this is your first time watching, make sure you click below to subscribe. I live on the Upper East Side of Manhattan and I pay $1,800 a month for my itty bitty studio up here, which by normal human person standards is an obscene amount of money, but by Manhattan real estate standards is actually a steal. Come on in. The first store that you'll get to is my bathroom, and as a former beauty editor, my bathroom is very important to me. I've got these great shelves that I got at Bed Bath & Beyond. Total storage beauty here. I have all my beauty products lined up in the way that I use them, all my serums, all that type of thing. My favorite part is this little sign that says, you are better than unicorns and sparkles combined. Love it. I always try to remember that. This is my closet, but it's not very pretty in there at the moment. It's actually the only closet in the entire apartment. So in here is my cleaning supplies, my clothing. I have all of my suitcases and stuff up here. It's kind of filled to the brim. So I don't have a pretty closet like a lot of other people, but it does the job well. Whenever I tell people how much I spend on my studio, they are shocked that I pay as little as I do, especially considering the outdoor space. The fact that I have laundry in the building and a separate kitchen really makes it kind of worth my while. Now, if you'll follow me this way into the kitchen, again, itty bitty space. I only have these cabinets, one little draw in here. So again, the name of the game is find storage elsewhere. So I hung up this amazing Ikea rack with all my pots on it. I have my serving bowls, my mixing bowls, my tea kettle, my soup. My knives are on the wall. I'm someone who actually really enjoys cooking. I'm one of the rare New Yorkers who uses her kitchen. I don't keep sweaters in my stove like some famous New Yorkers have said they do. Now onto the living area of my apartment. This is basically it. I really wanted the space to feel as open and as calm as possible, especially because it is such a small space. I wanted to kind of make it feel as open and flow as naturally as possible, which is why you'll see that I have pieces that kind of link together and make the space move in a really fluid kind of way. Instead of having a side table for my couch and a side table for my bed, I wanted something that kind of pulled both parts of the room together. And this also doubles as amazing storage. But I use this as my end table. I keep my extra linens in there, candles. And the great thing is when I do have people over to entertain, I can use this as a buffet and everything on top of it goes into the bathtub. That's my little secret of how I keep things organized here. This apartment, believe it or not, actually took a ton of planning. I signed the lease on this apartment a month before I was able to move in. And I was moving, living at my parents' house at the time. So this whole wall was planned out in my mother's basement. We were laying pictures down on the floor, measuring between them, and then as soon as we can't got in here, she hung this whole thing with command hooks. It's like the easiest thing in the entire world. It's great and it looks beautiful, but the only con is now I can't move around my furniture ever because I have a focal point. My favorite part about my apartment is definitely the blue chest of drawers that I have. My mother found it on the side of the road when I was a junior in high school. And it was wood, the wood was gross, it was stained, and she really polished it up. She painted it and turned it into this gorgeous piece of furniture that's actually followed me around to two or three apartments. My mom made it for me pretty much, which makes it super special. It's irreplaceable. I love it here. I don't plan on leaving anytime soon. I'm a big fan of blankets and textiles and like layering of blankets and textiles. So I actually have this little throw. I have a quilt and then I have two blankets underneath. I love a cozy bed. And then on my windowsill is my little altar that I have. With my sage, I like to sage my apartment every equinox just to kind of keep the energy flow in here really nice. And then my plants to keep the air nice and fresh. Let's go outside. So people ask me all the time how I actually found this place. And it's a great story. I'd been looking for three months 
I was living at home in New Jersey just to kind of give myself a little bit of breathing room because apartment hunting in Manhattan is insane. And I had an offer in on another apartment, but I saw this one on Craigslist and I saw the balcony and I saw that it was in like my exact perfect neighborhood and in my price range and I jumped at it. I actually was the first person to see this apartment. I came with all of my paperwork and I signed on the spot because I just absolutely fell in love with it. That's it. Thank you guys so much for coming by and checking out my sweet digs. Now get the hell out of here. <laughs>